Hello and welcome back to Gold Squadron Podcast. My name is William Hegwood. I'm joined by James Ritter. Hey guys. And we are going to be watching some Star Wars X-Wing 2nd Edition here at the Golden Gate Games World Qualifier. Uh, top four in this event will get invited to the exclusive Worlds event happening at Adepticon in March. So very exciting to see who gets that elusive invite this game though round four of this event uh, we have team usa's very own coach kenneth lyon facing off against kevin larson resistance on rebels x-wings versus x-wing it's going to be a great match uh, we are playing assault at the satellite array james is gonna go ahead and open up the choose your champion now we're going to talk about it's all at the satellite array. It is a five objective scenario starting at the end of round two and each round afterwards. We are going to be measuring range zero to one of each of these five objectives. As long as you have more ships than your opponent at that range zero to one of the objective, you're going to score one mission point. Uh, if there's a tie, no points are awarded. Now in this scenario, normally medium and large bases do count as two. We don't have any of them here, so we don't have to worry about that. Each ship counts as an equal, as it should be. But let's go ahead and take a look at these lists. We'll start with Ken Lion here, rocking five T-70s. We joke a lot about five uh, ship lists in resistance being five T-70s and they normally have uh, an A-wing or a Y-wing or something else. Yeah, it's, it's usually three X-wings plus two other things. In this case, oh, it's yeah, just cast. two more yeah. X-wings. Yeah, yeah, the two extra ones were <laughs> Navy and Kirkum, <laughs> turns out. So we have uh, the, the usual suspects, LRSD, out there with R6D8. That's the friendly Predator, a squad Predator, and Crack Shop. We have Tim and Wexley, uh, known uh, for his boosting after snapping out there. Oh yeah, Snap Wexley gets a free boost action anytime they fully execute a three or two actually two to four, two yeah. to four maneuver. Uh, yeah. That's very spicy with these integrated S foils. When you close them, they do give you a focus linked roll, so you can get some double reposition with a modification. What? Tim and Wexley out there. Uh, this Tamman has a shield upgrade, getting him up to eight total health and marksmanship for those free crits. Uh, we have Kira Kuhn is the uh, blue ace. That's a throwback. Blue ace out there <laughs> to... Uh, sorry, their ability allows them to, when they boost, they can use the hard turn template instead of a soft template and has brought afterburners which i mean just a natural pairing there just so so cool yeah so imagine hard three left hard afterburners for afterburners yeah <laughs> left hard one again and then focus roll think yeah. about that yeah. that's pretty crazy yeah put that put that in your box <laughs> yeah in your little yeah. uh the little like, think tank yeah the little think tank of where can caracoon be where anywhere can, where can caracoon go uh, very interesting uh, to see we're gonna be on the lookout for those hard turn oh, boosts yeah. uh, we have jess pava she gets re-rolls for the amount of friendlies nearby, though she only gets one charge unless she's spending charges off of her BB-8 astromech, who normally allows her to bear roll in the system phase. A little update on that if you haven't uh, seen the new BB-8s, it's now moved to system phase. Also has the ferrospheric paint. If you try to lock Jess, you have the option to either take a stress or break the lock if she is not in your bullseye. Uh, great tech against a lot of the ships who like to lock for their munitions or say like an X-1 Vader or something. And our last ship here, Nimi. Nimi, when shooting a ship with higher initiative, that's everybody on the other squad. So in this matchup, it's just when she shoots, uh, they get to change a blank to an eyeball result. Uh, they have the same ferrospheric paint and M9G8, which allows a reroll to whoever they have target locked. And I assume Nimi out there 
dressed in red. Yep, she has locked, uh, I think that is Temin. Locked Temin. Uh, the, the, no, that's Jess behind her. No, the lock is over there. Oh, that's, oh, sorry, that I, the, Ru the rebellion-esque symbol is Jess's charge mm -hmm. for her ability. That makes right. more sense. Uh, yes, so Nimi with the red collar has locked the green X-Wing Temen, giving them a reroll. You can also lock enemies with it too, make them reroll some hits yeah. or crits. That is pretty spicy against, uh, against pilots mm. that like to reroll with locks. Because mm -hmm. um, you can't reroll a reroll. Can't reroll a reroll. Even if you, it wasn't if, your if, source <laughs> of your reroll. Yeah, even if you weren't the one doing the reroll. Yeah, pretty good. I guess that would mess up Han too, wouldn't it? That would be pretty funny against uh, Han. Yeah. Well, no, it is a modification, not a reroll. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> so I guess not. Oh well. Anyways, still very uh, good. A, a very scary squad here. High modifications all around. Everybody's trying to get rerolls and extra boost. All this extra stuff to make them better than just your standard three attack dice seven health ship over to kevin larson bringing the rebel alliance has harrison doula she can pass focuses and evades when a ship at range two of her uh, is in the modification step of their attack or defense she has brought magpulse warhead so powerful jam crit and deplete I had I six very powerful to strip mods and neuter attacks. Uh, also has marksmanship to get some extra crits, and uh, has the what's the normal ability called? Vectored thrusters. Thrusters. Take an yeah. action, and you can link it into a red boost. Speaking of linking actions, we got Fen Rao in the Fang Fighter. Fen Rao can clear stress from friendlies as long as that friendly has an enemy at range one of them in their front arc uh, notably though Fenrau's ability doesn't work on themselves because that would be too good but he's a support ship <laughs> that's how you gotta yeah. think about it he, support he, he is, support i'm doing air quotes over here so, solely support uh, also maybe <laughs> he is still a fang fighter <laughs> yeah an i6 with fang fighter out there <laughs> yeah so two different bullseye mechanics here this sabine's getting awfully close to the, uh, the friendlies over yeah, here can you can you can you chill out here sabine we're just trying to <laughs> we're trying to fly in formation and you're yeah. over here boosting a barrel and doing crazy stuff yeah can you chill out for just a second <laughs> yeah yeah uh pretty awesome though uh to see the fen round there also has the best guy reinforced plating a pseudo shield um as long as the attacker is in your front arc then we have boy Luke out there straight from the trench with instinctive aim, attack speed, proton torpedoes and R2-D2 so you can get shields back, you can throw four dice attacks. And if you do a three or four speed straight maneuver, you can boost straight afterwards as well. Imagine he's just cruising down the trench, full speed, attack speed if you yeah, will. He, uh, a definition of joust me bro. Come joust me. <laughs> yeah, if you want to think about it, it just basically puts a five and six speed maneuver on yeah. Luke's dial, yeah. which turns out nobody else really has a six speed maneuver yeah. that they can just throw down. Uh, Tim and I guess, uh, but that's <laughs> different. <laughs> Somehow that's different. Anyways, we're going to Bodica Venge, another Fang Fighter. I did forget about Fen Rao's uh, Concordia face-off. Mm. If you're shooting these Fangs at range one, they get a free conversion to evade. This Bodica is equipped with Mandalorian optics, free locks, that Beskar plating, that pseudo shield, and Predator for rerolls in the bullseye. Best thing about Bodica, though, her ability to take revenge shots at the cost of a deplete. The... Uh, the thing I always say about Bodica is that all these other kind of punishment or protection abilities require the ship to be in the attack arc, so the attacker is actually choosing not to attack you. In this instance, though, Bodica can do it from anywhere on the map, makes it a very powerful uh, bonus attack. And then, of course, because it's Rebels, two point Sabine Rem with that Beskar reinforced plate in. The best guy used to cost like one point or less than a shield, and now it's 
less than half the cost of a shield. So people are really embracing it as that conditional damage mitigation. Oh yeah, uh, I mean like almost any Mandalorian ship is taking these this Beskar reinforced. Yeah, we were trying plating. to think of a Mandalorian who's in a turret. I just can't even think about one. Um, maybe Sabine in the Lancer. <laughs> I mean, they have a front arc. Still. Yeah, they still have a front arc, and so, that's, they, they should be using. They should be using that them. front arc to shoot. Okay, that's a that's an extended call out, but yeah. Uh, I guess you're true. We did see that Kirkun do the afterburners barrel boost, boost and then the barrel roll oh, uh, yeah, to claim yeah, focus. the objective and set up a nice bullseye attack. The best part about the T-70s closing their wings is that you still get your full attack if the uh, defender is in their bullseye. Yeah. So doing these fancy maneuvers doesn't even penalize their attacks. Yeah, wow. because like the T-65s, if they want to do their uh, integrated s foils boost, they have to reduce their primary attack value by one, um, which it doesn't reduce their munitions, torpedo, munitions attacks, but uh, with these T-70s, uh, they are just straight up ignoring it if they're in bullseye. I think we're going to open up the bettings. I need, we need at least one more bet in here. If you haven't bet, please bet. Please bet. The, the bets are tied right now. 50, 50, 50. 50. Yeah, we can't have this. So we got we to gotta, we gotta get a tiebreaker <laughs> in here and find out who you guys think will be the champion. And we have Hera and Luke cruising down the top of the board and Fen Rao dove in. Is that Fen Rao? That's Fen Rao. Yeah, Fen Rao yeah. dove in there. Oh yeah. I mean, Real fast. These, these T-70s are, they're, they're throwing a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Rebel Finrail, so not going to be getting the four agility mm -hmm. on, on defense. On defense. So, uh, we did get that bet. We got the which, bet. Which was left then uh, Kenneth. Uh, slightly Kenneth. ahead. Yeah, just slightly ahead at nine bets to eight bets. All right, here's Predator from Fen Rao. Gonna keep the focus for defense. Uh, uh, this, this is, is Snap. Yeah, Interesting is, green. Yeah, this is on to Snap. Not as boosty as he thought. Now, now when the two I6s is deployed to joust you. Uh, has he just taken all three of those? Yes. I mean, he brought a shield upgrade. Did bring a shield upgrade. It's gives us uh, an extra focus in that instance. Uh, two from Hera here. Takes one more. Last shield. Man, these I-6s over here from the mm -hmm. Rebels just eating into these initiative fours. We do have Ella out there. I bet. Open it up for, for Daryl. Open it up. Open the bet. Daryl, all you got to do. Is type bet one all or bet two all? Yeah. Exclamation point. Exclamation point bet space one space all or two space all. Oh, here's that proton torpedo with the force. And finally, we see the focus expenditure. Still going to take hit crit. And we'll see if Kenneth puts it in the box. It's big shuffle here. Here it is. And we reveal whole breach. Ooh. Well, well luckily, like two health left. Luckily, no more. Now you gotta go exclamation point bet. Exclamation point bet one. Show them how it's done. There it is. No, you see from... Samus. Samus did it right. Yeah. Samus. yeah. Show, show our friend how it's done. All right. Oh, uh, the reroll right. there gets hit, hit, crit. And we're gonna see gonna the evade. evade thrown by Hera. We're going to crack shot that uh, from Elo. Yes, indeed. So we should be able to get a hit crit through there. We're getting a little bit of glare because it's so sunny out. But that's in the dice box, so we can't turn that off right now. We did put the shades down, which fixed a lot of the issues. Uh, 
we didn't see what card that was. But we're going to look into Tim and Wexley now. And spent the Iron Balls, got that reroll, but not enough from M9G8. So a single crit here. Going to go into Hera because she's tokenless. I like that change of target priority there. Uh, like, maybe not Finn yeah. Rao. Maybe not Finn yeah. Rao with all of his defense modifiers. Okay, so we're going to move on to the middle of the board. Nothing from Sabim there. And we're going on to Bodica. Bodica, yeah, not sticking around with their friends. Yeah, no, not a lot of protection going on for Bodica here. We're going to see two Ooh, evades Bodica. and spend it. Yeah, no spend thanks. No damage. Well, I like my ship to be undamaged, preferably. Did we see, so that first shot must have been Kirkun. I didn't see the result of it, but it didn't look like it hit. Did uh, Jess not shoot? I think we're working through the initiative threes. Or was that last shot Nimi? Oh, that, yeah, red is Nimi. That's yeah. right, yeah. So I think Bodica done showed that. I'll check real fast. I, yeah, just it didn't look like count. didn't look like anything went through there, but uh, I'll go. I'll go. Just take a peek at it. All right. Uh, going into round number three, we each had each player grab two of those objectives. The bottom left one just got left alone. The rebels were not interested in that objective down there. Uh, just focusing on the center and uh, the bottom right. And Luke, Luke just had one shield down. Blue's got one shield, yes. Yeah. That's blue. Who's blue? You're talking, oh, from Bodica's attack on to Nimi? Is that what you're trying to ask? No, Luke is one shield down, that's what I asked. Oh, Luke is one shield down, I thought you said blue. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that is also true. <laughs> okay. Well, great positioning here. We're going to look at, uh, look like two for two. two Nobody's for two. got the bottom left there. Yeah, they just re the resistance just left it alone. Yeah. The scenario really disincentivizes just like open field jousting or neutral edge jousting, really. Yeah, it, it definitely more in the middle. I mean, we do have a little bit of neutral edge jousting here on the top of the board. Mm -hmm. uh, but, I mean... We're playing a bunch of X-wings, a, a bunch against against a bunch of X-wings and fangs. Yeah, give us the GSP joust zone up there. Let you know. Over right here, this is where I'm pointing. Right there, this little thing. Oh, okay. You press that. No, you yeah, press. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Fancy. There you go, GSP Joust zone at the top of the board. <laughs> Bit terrifying. And now Finn Rao is in your way. So how does the resistance deal with this I-6 Fang Fighter who really came in barreling and um, so, nobody, nobody so, was worried about it. Yeah, just didn't. Man, uh, Snap barely made it out of that alive. I can't fix that because the big door, but we can just turn the dice cam off. Yeah, that works. It's coming through the door. Man. Yeah. There's not a shade for the door, turns out. I mean, we can close the door. Well, that's not how light works. That is, that, I think it's the glare. I know it's the glare, but the, the door is see-through, James. <laughs> so I'm not sure. What that's not how the force works. <laughs> it's not really <laughs> what uh, is ideal there, right? So. An intense round here. 
Timmon barely gets out after that proton torpedo, so we have to assume he's going into some sort of blocking position here. Get in front of here. Get in front yeah, of yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Stop three, taking that damage. Three, three straight boost barrel, or it could go for a three bank towards the middle boost. Uh, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe no, you don't want to. don't want to. Yeah. Because you assume Fenral, we see a Mando and Optics get thrown Ooh, down. Ooh, Mando Optics from Boudica. Yeah, maybe you don't want to get into a position. You got to imagine Fenral is going to want to hard two barrel roll towards the objective. So anywhere in front of that is a no-go zone. If you can block him from the hard turn and then, like, block the barrel roll, so he's only, like, looking at the middle, could be advantageous. Let me start with Nimi though. Monts a piece of this Hera coming in. Uh, um, num, the num, num, num. Uh, man, the, the high initiative uh, Bane with Nimi here. It's true. As long as you can hold on to that focus, uh, has very high quality shots. We talk about Broadside, who's got a very similar ability of being such a consistent piece, and Nimi. Uh, showing her strength there, even though just initiative two, but doing just, like a, that's better than one. <laughs> well, uh, look at Sabim here, gonna barrel out, guaranteed to hard turn back in. Yeah, playing the objective games here. When you're only two points, you only need to score two objectives, and you're golden after that. But the the barrel roll out, hard one back in means that Sabim never has to leave this corner. If you need some colored ID tokens, let me tell you about our good friend Andrew Knuckles and exclamation point CPC, Girlfall Creatives. So we'll get all of our tokens and acrylics. Uh, really got uh, the some, goods. Really some of the best and some of the best. Maybe, uh, maybe the best. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, well, I'll, <laughs> let's just say the standard for acrylics. That's, that's true. That's where all, how all ac other acrylics are matched. So Bodica getting himself into a great position here to get a quality shot on to Nimi. Uh, because Nimi does not have Bodica in arc, so he has to shoot somebody else if possible, or cannot shoot Bodica instead, I'll right. say. Yes. And that's really the power of, like I said, Bodica. Just sneaking around, taking those double attacks. Unsuspecting targets. Yeah. I mean, with the target lock now, too, for Mandalorian Optics. Yikes. Ooh, three banks the, towards the top of the board here. I like this. I like um, this. Ooh, okay. Potentially blocks Luke's one forward and Hera's I mean, we two made forward. It, we made it see like a, like a roll focus. Mm -hmm. I didn't see where the wings are. Just going to focus up. So, great position. Uh, holding down that objective to so the stress clearing it three forward and then I mean do we go for the afterburners do you I really mean, even does he even worth no, no I guess he it's wants, not he wants to get the fang. objective yeah the objective that's and range two on a thing yeah because your extra dice is only a chance to score a hit where <laughs> they're you're they giving him a free of eight token yeah Every time you shoot a fang at range two, you're giving them a free evade token. All right, does Luke bump? Nope. nope. No. I don't, yeah, I, I think he needed the roll here. Well, uh, hold, hold on tight. <laughs> yeah. I was actually thinking a boost, like the free boost, and then a, then a focus roll to uh, get a shot on to mm -hmm. Sabine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, need to be a little bit trickier than that. But again, that Fen Rao is in the way. So couldn't do a lot of the tech they wanted to. Hello, just like focus, focus bumps. <laughs> hey, like, well, you know I mean, I kind of wanted if, to be here anyway. Yeah, if Hera doesn't turn in, that's another squad predator attack. All right, so Fen round then doing that hard too, as expected. Uh, potentially going to. I mean, you got two options. I don't know if you can actually boost there. I'll take that back. You might only have one option to barrel roll. I mean, could just, like, lay down the focus. I don't think anyone's shooting you. Maybe Nimi? 
I think you said. I think you said that name three or four different times. Now. Nimi. Are you Nimi? saying Nimi? 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 Nime? Nai? Mai? Nai Mai? <laughs> All right, we see a three bank from Hera. Ooh, is that uh, a friendly bump? No, I don't think so, but I think it is going to be a bump. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't think it would have landed on Luke, mm. uh, but it is going to bump into Timon, which is going to be most likely a bump focus. Because uh, it is... Oh, yeah, that template was, like, way farther out than Luke. Good call. So trying to skip over that block unsuccessfully. Tried to, yeah. I'm just going to hang out on Ello's bullseye, then. <laughs> I, yeah, Ello's like, cool, thanks. Thanks for the uh, lineup there, Timmon. That's good. Uh, should be a Timmon's uh, bullseye then, yeah, too. Gets two for a double reroll. Yeah. Love that squad credit. Actually, destroyed. is in Nimi's reroll bullseye as well. Wow. So I would full, love to see, fully would love to see that blank out into uh, <laughs> three credits. <Yeah. laughs> be pretty cool. <laughs> All right, we got range two, Nimi. They're rolling dice, I swear. Uh, we're going to crack shot and lose two shields on Nimi. Just two. All right. Yep, soften up that target for Bodica. Let's see what the next option for attack is. Hera, shoot range two, Elo, range zero. I mean, you shoot the range zero because maybe that means that uh, we can take a range. Uh, Luke can shoot someone else. Uh, no. Not going to spend the focus anyway, so. No. I was like, if you're not going to spend your focus anyways, you might as well go into the ship that's almost destroyed. Right. You might as well shoot the hurt range zero one. Yeah. That checks out. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this big sunlight. Sh a big <laughs> shot from Luke here. And I think Timon is just gone. Oh, that's all washed out. Well, sun moved and well, well it doesn't really matter because, yeah, big attack there. Uh, but does stay on for Ello's R68. Uh, only needed one, though. So three hits coming into Hera. Jerome, we appreciate your... Ooh. Oh, no. She's gone. I think she is gone. She gone. Is she? Jerome, you are right. I appreciate your... Uh, commitment to, to new players we should stop saying bum I agree uh, they, it's the sunlight that's shining through the window is she is gone uh, causing the, some sunlight <laughs> there I don't know I don't know what the difference is I don't know what could possibly be going in and out it's not really how the sun the, the works door, the door is moving you think the door is moving? Yeah, the door's like doing like this. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay. I see what you're saying now. Yeah. It's, it's not the sunlight, it's the sunlight reflect. Yeah, the sunlight reflect. That's what I said. No. You told me that's not how the sun works. No, that's not <laughs> <how the sun laughs> uh, all right, we're going to see a big lock here from this. Uh, Bodica, only two hits though. Gonna get two evades. All right, natties. Give me see some natties in the chat here. All right, a range two from Kerkun. Oh, goodness. Okay, a hit, hit, crit into Bodica. No Veskar online here and is gonna take a crit. What is the crit gonna be? A blinded pilot. Oh, not good. Uh, going to really turn off a lot of things for the bonus attack. Uh, 
All right, we're going to see... Uh, this is Sabine. Uh, ooh, I'm going to spin to focus. Okay, hit crit coming into... Uh, really, Nimi. Okay, spins the focus there. Nimi may not take a shot this round then. Uh, Jess, range two into Bodica. Okay, three hits, no, uh, no Beskar, and takes two damage. Wow, are you really gonna take this shot here? Mm. Just one crit. Gets the evade. Oh man, I wouldn't take that shot. Survives. Uh, oh, well, this is the this is the revenge shot. This is the revenge. Oh no. Yeah, Bodica revenge. Bodica loves doing her revenge shot after she's already engaged, which means a blue maneuver can clear that deplete. Already spent the focus though, and the target lock. It looks like so. One hit, one evade. Not as bad as you thought. Yeah, I just wouldn't have taken the shot at all because I spent. I, she's uh, Nimi spent the focus on defense, so. Oh, true. true. I would have just like not shot. Did it do damage to Luke? No, she shot at Sabine. Sabine. Nah. I check some. Yeah, uh, a little bit of snap back here from uh, Kenneth. Did lose one of the, in, I would say, important X-Wing. Says it's very mobile, can go from objective to objective. But Kevin has lost that I-6 mag pulse and really the true support ship of this squad. Uh, Bodic is down to one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so two range twos might do that, I Two guess. range twos, yep, did exactly yeah. that. Yeah, that happens. That happens. Okay, so spent the, probably the focuses on, on, focus defense. on defense and yeah. then lock on offense. Lock on time. offense, yep. That checks out. I think I figured out the uh, the door thing. It was reflecting off the metal of the door and not yeah. the, the see-through part. The, the glass? The glass. <laughs> the glass. <laughs> well. The see-through part? There's a lot of see-through stuff. <laughs> Could be glass. I don't know. I see you right through your facade. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, some some pun about throwing stones. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> insert pun here about throwing stones. <laughs> we are in a glass house right now. Yeah, I'm in a glass house of emotion. <laughs> Don't throw your stones. <laughs> All right, uh, both these players are keeping tied here with objectives as well. So there's four nice. objective points to each player, uh, two for round two, two for round mm -hmm. three each, and uh, four points for a four-point ship destroyed. Yeah, I think it's really going to be on Elo here. If Elo can get that attack on Bodicut, I-5, Take that ship off the board before it starts doing bonus attacks and all the other shenanigans <laughs> that it could do this round to even up the match. And then I assume Nimi has to do some blocking. Uh, come up here. Do you think Luke's just going to 4K? I mean, what, what can you do to stop it? Uh, Elo can't. I mean, Elo could... Elo could do a one bank and then barrel focus. Uh, barrel will, away from the objective, though. That sounds like a bad idea. I think he'd still be at range of it, though. Like, he'd be right behind Finn at that point. I don't know. That's yeah. a, that's a could, risky you, endeavor, yeah, let you, me tell you. You could end up blocking the 4K if you're going first. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's true. I mean, you might yeah. be doing all this fancy stuff to oh, the block. Oh, uh, sorry. I, th I thought that was. I thought you caught that. What? I was trying to block the 4K. Oh, I did catch that. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible? Who knows? All right, Nimi, a one bank. Just keeping it slow, keeping it cool. Uh, these X-wings love their one-speed maneuvers. 
Just a little, well, slight list this way, slight list that way. See a one bank from Jess as well. Oh, plenty of room there on the other side. Probably just slaps down the focus. Yeah, just wait, just waiting for Sabim to come around the corner there. And by coming around the corner, I mean barrel out and hard one back in. <laughs> How dare you? Did you read this man's dial? <laughs> yeah, surprise here. Sabim in that perfect position, just gonna cover that objective the rest of the game until somebody forces her out. Yeah, I mean, she's already scored her points. Mm -hmm. Mission accomplished. Now if she could just do some damage, <laughs> she, she might be a yeah. true or master. Take a couple, she's already taken one shot as well. There you go. There you go. So taking a shot and... Scored got, two points. Got, scored two points. Like, at this point, it, everything else is just, like, gravy, right? Sure. Uh, probably a three bank here, you think? Oh, just a one bank. Oh, we're chilling. <laughs> we're chilling. <laughs> Trying to catch that Bodica. Uh, and then, yeah, so Kira just has the afterburners. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the double reposition, but not double mod. Yeah. We see a two hard in. Yeah, we do. Yeah, well, I mean, what can you do, you know? Should land right behind Nimi, though. Uh, Beautiful yeah. shot. Uh, no bullseye is pointed. Actually, maybe in Care's bullseye. Looks like it. Yeah. I was hoping so. And at range, too. Care's like, man, this boat okay. is Let's a fool. Go. Look, I'm just following him around. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, yeah, we're going to see if Elo, Elo is going to move first here. Uh, going to see if we did the one bank or... So now there. <laughs> this is my ship. That's yours over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you moved this one. <laughs> I moved that one. Uh, got its side on S foils possibly. Oh, we're deciding on a Bodica action here. No, they're like picking up a bunch of tokens and moving stuff around. I don't know what. Oh, we're deciding on Bodica's action. I see what you're saying. Yeah. What was Nimi's action? Nimi definitely focused. I think they just set the focus aside, and expecting a reposition here. Okay. Yeah, she didn't have any crits or anything. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's still in, still in kind of sand. Yeah. Boost. Wow. I, uh, where are you going? <laughs> a, li a live town. That's where they're, <laughs> that's where they're going. One way ticket to a live town. One way ticket to it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, might now be an Ellos arc if it's just a one bank here. Or a bullseye. Definitely going to be in the arc. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like bullseye lined up, possibly mm -hmm. range two. Yeah, from one bad spot to another. <laughs> Bodica uh, getting the worst of the worst here in the center of the board. I think I got my thing in my phone. <laughs> Your what? Oh. There we go. All right, the maneuver for Luke here. Four forward? 4K. <laughs> Four <laughs> forward? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God! This, this I door. can't. I can't How stop. How dare! I can't. I, I don't have any. I don't have any. I thought I put a very heavy trash can on it, but it's not enough. It's the winds picked up. Coming off the ocean here in San Francisco. My uh, NCX has swapped factions. I'm now CIS. <laughs> Oh, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. <laughs> the only person that's won two games. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're really good at fire sprays, aren't you? Really good at fire sprays. Oh, I guess I'm just be flying these five. Uh, <laughs> five tri fighters. <laughs> five tri fighters. Yes. <laughs> yes. They're never go. gonna see it coming. 
You and Ede, though, he need Discord muscles on him and not those treacherous. Yeah. What do you think about that? Yeah. Well, what, what's, what am I going to do on the, on the fourth and fifth one? Treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> So still what treacherous. <laughs> what are those records? Great question. The both these players coming into this three and O. Oh, so these two players will be in tomorrow's Swiss rounds. Any player with nine scenario or nine uh, tournament points, I guess. Tournament points, yeah. Any player with nine tournament points, remember you get three for win, one for draw, and zero for a loss. So any, any player with those nine wins, or three, three and X. Yeah, two, two wins and three draws will also do it. That's unlikely. <laughs> I think all the players with draw have a loss, so. Uh, or a win. Oh, I see what you're saying. All right, thank yeah. you. <laughs> All right, we do see a block here. We couldn't tell if it was a friendly or not. Uh, oh, that's what they were checking for, yeah. I think they were just trying to get the... Well, they need to check for if it's friendly or not, for sure. Uh, Fish is saying if you'd rather play FO or Rebels. Would I rather play FO or Fire Rebels? Cast, thanks for joining us, by the way. Sorry, what were you saying? Hmm... You, I thought you, you loved the hound. You love those large base hound. No. I, it's you, cool. You've it's, played it, it before. It's I'll cool. retract it's my cool. statement. It's cool. It's cool now. Oh, I can't, I can't play it. oh cool yeah. Now. Fish, sorry. Uh, the, the the Ritter here yeah. only flies off meta. Yeah, I do fly only off unless, meta. Unless he's a meta setter, then. Yeah. I was, will say it was not a friendly bump. We did see that. Oh. Excuse me. It was not a friendly overlap. Their ship did not overlap the other one, which will allow the focus and stress. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I'm good with CIS. I, I, I'm actually very interested in this five track fighter list. <laughs> Unironically interested. Sounds terrifying. I may have to. I may have to practice it a little bit. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so Finn gets to shoot first. Oh, a lot of great targets for them. Got Jess and... Yeah, I don't think I see a Predator online Pierre anywhere. No, it's like pointing at that gas cloud or so. Yeah. Uh, and no range one. You have a range two at Jess, and she does not have a re... Maybe a reroll from Nimi? I don't know. I don't know how big that token is to judge. <laughs> about, about one poker. Uh, one poker chip. One poker chip. Uh, is over it. Does not want that smoke. <laughs> Does not want to spend that focus. No. Uh, all right. This looks to be a range two, though. And uh, shoot a bullseye. That, which is, I think, uh, would you prefer a range two if you're shooting? Yeah, because it's the difference of you might not get your fourth hit, and they will always get... Well, yeah. Bodica's on one, so I would prefer range one, actually. Yeah, I would as well. Well, well rolled all paint. Rolled all paint. So now, we move on to Luke. That range one into Elo. We see oh, a Ben, ben Rao. Rao. The stress, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you did a red maneuver. You must be stressed. <laughs> and then Fen Rouse out there. Uh, uh, uh. He's cool. This is my friend Luke. He's cool. <laughs> this is my friend Luke. <laughs> All right. He may be thinking about a instinctive aim torpedo at Nimi. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the dice cam's there. Uh, Fish, you're a trendsetter at those poker chips. People, people emulated them. All right, what do we got here? Ooh. Drops both force for three. So with only a three yeah. dice attack, we yeah. are going Nimi. into Nimi. All right, that's going to be three. 
and we're moving, we're moving the token tray, so gonna get a bunch of cards out here, but should survive from that. And I, I can handle this. And it doesn't have any other follow-up attacks? Sabine! No, don't you dare, Sabine. Don't, don't you dare. <laughs> don't you. Oh, man. Initiative, <laughs> initiative destroys. <laughs> oh, 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 embarrassing. Oh, that would be in it. embarrassing. Okay. So two hits here. One. There it oh, goes. Oh. It doesn't matter because it should be destroyed. Oh, one more because it was three. initiative three or range three. No, man. Bodica just doing some work here. I think I'm about to cover that door in a sheet. We'll see if I can't get it to stop wiggling. I don't know if it's on or off now. Let's see. The light shines in. All right. And then to puts two damage back into Ello. Wow. Disrespectful. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. All right. Looks to be a range two, it looks like. And has one friend, has two friends. I think you gotta measure that when you, in your modification step. Well, well doesn't need it. A lot of unnecessary there, and we're gonna see. Finally goes down. The crit and the destruction. All right, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure something out. All right, and we're going to see Sabine here. Let's see if Sabine can take down Nimi. If, if, if this, this could be a big game changer here. If we can take, if they take down Nimi. Oh, uh, it's only, it's going to be two. No, I think we took the evade. Yeah, so it's only going to be one. One evade comes up. All right, Nimi makes it to the next round. Or I guess to shoot this round, or really the big thing here. Um, and it's going to put a big wallop into Luke here. Yeah, range two into the Luke. Gets the free focus, so our blank to focus. Doesn't need it though. Hit, hit, crit after spending a focus. And only going to take one crit. So that's a, another shield down. Uh, pretty respectable here. Counting up objectives, though. It uh, looks to be... That's gonna, I think that's three to one. Big, big turnaround here for the resistance. That's the two. I'm just going to... Just gonna build a barricade. <laughs> Will Will's barricading us inside. <laughs> Tired of this door. Tired of this door moving like <laughs> two inches, which is the difference between a reflection or not. Uh, so we did see Bodica go down there, we did, and Nimi yes. survives. Yeah. Nimi survives. Um, if if uh, wow. If Sabine had taken a focus and oh, not really? an evade, really? it would have gone down. Wow. I I never make the right choice on modifiers. It feels like <laughs> I never do, you know? <laughs> well, you only recognize that when... Right. It's, it's the survivor's bias on it, right? Oh, yeah. Because you don't, you don't forget the times we rolled all eyeball when you had the focus, right? Yeah. Oh, I definitely remember every time I rolled eyeball <laughs> and then didn't have a focus, though. <laughs> it's like, well, of course I took a focus, you fool. When you, when you walk, <laughs> it's, it's just when you waffle about, should I target lock or focus? Target lock focus, man. I Sometimes I like to take chips that don't have lock. That way I can't make the wrong decision. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> a couch for it? Mm -hmm. No. Not yet. We're good. Ooh, honestly, like we, like we have this like f fenced in area. Yeah, we do a lot. There's uh, so much room for activities. So many room for activities. Oh my <laughs> God. I can't even describe how many different little seating areas are in this place. It's amazing. Like yeah. one, so two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Honestly, there's two in there. 
Eight. Yeah. The nine for the bowling alley. Nine, yeah. Ten, eleven, twelve. On top and of the just list. this, <laughs> and yeah, just and the just, X-wing section. Just this room. It does say that you can fit four hundred people in here. I would believe it. <laughs> I would not try it. I wouldn't try it. <laughs> Uh, we did have a huge round for the resistance in the in turn number four. I scored that. three to one on objectives. Uh, yes, the two X wings take the top. You're right. Yeah. Where was the third one from? Uh, you can't. I can count. You can't count. <laughs> 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 Silently takes one point off. <laughs> All right, uh, expecting a big round. Yeah, you well, it, it was two, two to one, two okay. to one, this, and a ship destroyed. I mean, twice as many. Um, <laughs> big round here. I mean, the can't though. The flying these T7s conservatively. I was kind of expecting more of like like rotating out T70s, but we're yeah. here to we're here to roll red dice is what yeah. we're saying. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we'll see a Talon from Edlo this mm, turn. No. Uh, these initiative sixes yeah. getting in the way. So you could Talon roll even while stressed. Yeah, because it's white. Well, no, it says if you have two or less stress. Yeah. Yeah. So you can have one. You can have two. You can have two. <laughs> Still pretty impressive. Yeah. Uh, talent rolling after a panic pilot. And catch somebody off guard. Yeah. I just like I just like the talent roll, uh, focus roll into another talent roll. Yeah. yeah. Try tracking me. Yeah. <laughs> With pattern and oh, you can't do pattern and laser. Yeah, it's not ready. You can do primed, I guess. Primed, yeah. For fun. Are you paying, you're paying <laughs> that many points for a primed? Yeah, I didn't need that shield. It'll be fine. Uh, this one... Yeah. Okay, so Nano's saying that one point does cover Nimi's destruction. So, already looking forward to the follow the following round of yeah. points here we are at 53 minutes we're I mean, doing variable timing so at least 19 more minutes in this game after that who, we're into who's stoppage gonna be, time who's going to be tracking down Nimi though BB-8 Luke's, or BB I guess uh, Luke's 4k I guess Luke's 4k um That's a neat trick. That is a neat trick. So where are we going with Nimi here? Are you just are three out. See you later. With Nimi not straight. Yeah, it looks like a three here. Uh, could be a boost as well. I do that too. <laughs> it's the open hand. Is this good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like you, I would want to boost so I can get down to the other objective. Though it is oh, target locks. Okay. Uh, did we lose M9GA somewhere? Oh, because it was on snap. Locks Luke. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Those are the bold decisions I'm looking for. Yeah. Honestly, like a pretty great move um, because Elo does not need that lock. Elo does no. not need that reroll re with uh, R6D8. All right, look at, look at Sabine. Let me guess. Bear roll backwards. Hard one back in. Uh, this might actually Just be a inching, straight maneuver here. Inching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, leave, time, leave. time to leave. Time to leave. Jess is coming up. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm uh, on the move. On the move. I guess I'll go to this other objective. <laughs> Hang out there for a while. Yeah, well, it's an objective game. I mean, Sabine is an objective monkey, so. Yeah. Squadron M, thank you so much. A new badge for 45 months. Awesome Ooh. to see. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, this uh, Ello here, not stressed, just gonna be a one straight. That does block the 4K. So, mm. or it looks like it does. If it doesn't, ugh. This might just be like a one straight from Luke. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well. I mean, yeah, you're already ready behind Ello, right? So. Yeah. Takes the tucker lock then? Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah, but it, what's going to be interesting is uh, the M9 G8 The M9 G8, yeah, can't reroll or reroll. Can't reroll or reroll. Uh, this is going to be a two straight bump. Yeah, for now, just please, please let me <laughs> complete a maneuver here. <laughs> <laughs> I have a family. <laughs> I just want to get a token. Um, cool. does, looks like it has Predator on Carcoon, not a hundred percent. Possibility there. We're looking for... Everyone's cleaning up here, getting ready for... Organizing for combat. The combat, yeah. This looks to be range one as well, which is Ooh. great for Fenrao. Yeah, loves defending at range one. Run out of, uh... You know, bad targets to shoot at here. <laughs> You're gonna have to start taking shots into Fen Rao. Yeah. Um, I mean, we still have Luke out there. Uh, we're gonna check that bullseye for Predator. It looks like it looks like it's gonna be a judge call for the range. For the bullseye. For, for, for the bullseye. Yeah. Well. This is one of those situations where you just got to roll the dice and see if there is a predator. Like, if it's all eyeballs, you know what I mean? Yeah. I do that a lot when it's like, I don't know if this is obstructed. I'm just going to roll the attack and you roll the unobstructed dice. Yeah. And we'll see if, if it matters. See if it matters. Because yeah, if I could, blank out, yeah, if I, just, I don't know how many times I've called a judge <laughs> and like for an, for an attack yeah. and then just blanked out on that. I'm yeah. like, well, I'm glad we wasted. A minute. I don't think this is a waste. This is important. But we'll require very accurate measuring. Yeah, using lights. <laughs> the fl fl flashlight from the phone here. We are. We are fighting in the shade. Okay. Didn't, didn't see the confirmation or not, but we'll see. We'll see on the dice. Uh, looks like, yes. Wasn't bullseye? Didn't matter. <laughs> Tell him. Tell him. Sometimes you just gotta roll it. How's it going? Going great, man. How are they doing that? I just finished all the uh, 14 to 9. They got the scoreboard up there. So pretty close. We got if, uh, an X Wing might survive. And if it does, that'll be probably the decider. If, uh, if Nimi can squeak away here. Oh, thanks. <laughs> no worries. We see Fen Round Take get the free evade, but a crit. Is this. From Ello. This is from Ello. Oh, so no Beskar. Moon did. did. Ooh, that does turn off a lot of things for Fenrir. It turns off those linked actions. Well, possibly turns off those linked actions. Makes them problematic. Maybe a red barrel is not a great maneuver or a great action <laughs> choice. <laughs> not always. <laughs> so let's see here. This is He's gonna a re -roll. Re -roll. Re -roll the into a blank <laughs> and you can't re-roll it. <laughs> Sets it aside. Uh, yeah, that's Padme right there. Okay. <laughs> the uh, into three more blanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kenneth just looks defeated. <laughs> no, that was Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin yeah. said that, that yeah. hurt. That, that hurt. hurt, yeah. Oh. Uh, I think his Luke's down to like one force because hasn't been defending, so... Yeah just picked up all the eyeballs instead of, you know, converting first. Yeah. Didn't work out. Ooh, I mean, that's the correct choice mathematically. It is the correct choice. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, safe range here three. for Finrau. No problem. Well, this is the... Oh, that was range. What? All right, here's <laughs> Sabine is shooting into Nimi here. No tokens for Nimi. Only one. Oh, you know what? That was that was through the obstruction into Sabine. That's what that last. Nimi gets the evade. Okay. Very well could be Nimi getting away here. I mean, he's gonna have to look out for Fred and Brown hunting the bottom of the board all of a sudden. I think that is everybody shot. Uh, looks like we will claim the middle for resistance and the top for rebel. Resistance widening that gap a little bit, the, not by points, but by positioning in this case. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because there, there's a chance that Elo just evaporates to two range once, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. But without the damage and token stripping and stuff. That, that reroll was pretty massive. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> oh, the rerolls, really. Yeah, the double rerolls. Yikes. All right. Where are you going? Damage check. Oh, no worries, no worries. All right, well, this is the perfect time to talk about our sponsors for this event. Uh, the, the true heroes of Gold Squadron, the Patreons. Uh, if you want to support us outside of Twitch, make sure that we're getting to these world qualifying events in the future. We're going to need your help through our Patreon. Check it out and uh, help us continue on uh, doing more streams. It's been an excellent event so far. Beautiful weather, beautiful people, beautiful city. Uh, they, I, I can't get over like the old school part of San Francisco. All these like uh, brightly colored buildings. It just looks wonderful. The verticality of it, someone from the Midwest who is like, what would I say? Oh, the only verticality I get is bluffs. So river bluffs. So seeing uh, this amazing town has been quite the experience. <clears throat> and this venue, oh man, the Foundry and Lux. Check it out if you're ever in San Francisco. It is a fantastic little place. Uh, kind of nestled in this kind of, I don't know how to describe it, tech. In, um, uh, I think I think the... How do they describe it? They, they said that a lot of the buildings around here are uh, worked by pharmaceuticals. Okay. So it's like pharmaceutical tech. Sure, okay. So, so like a pharma valley instead of a silicon valley. Uh, yeah, pharma valley, yeah. Sure. Yep. Yeah, all these little buildings have like restaurants. You said you went to a Starbucks. Is in the same thing, but, uh, like the ground floor of yep. a different building. Yep. There are like a bunch of restaurants over there. Yeah, each building seems to have a little uh, thing at the bottom to help out the employees in the area and come through. And this place has just been, man, just the chillest of event spaces I've been to in a long, long time. We want to go bowling. We're literally like, we almost it, yeah. in the bowling alley. Yeah, <laughs> so. we, we did almost stream in a bowling alley. Like uh, in the, in, in, the, in, in the, the lane. lane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was ter determined to be too slippery. Yeah, too slippery. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. All right, we'll start the next round here. 10 minutes-ish remain. Yeah, t 10 plus or minus three. It is baking on the weekends. I mean, honestly, everybody I saw was just like walking the dog, just enjoying what the weather. What did you say? What? It's what, what? bacon. Oh, they said it's bacon on the weekend. It's bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Apple smoked <laughs> bacon. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's just been a great uh, space. I'm so glad that they uh, organized it here. Daryl, I know you had a big hand in that. Been a fantastic event so far. So I'm glad to see that continuation. And Nima says, oh, I like objectives. Come give me some of the boost out even. Wow. Yeah. Disrespect. Yeah, the three bank. So boost, you can now yeah. so you can hard three next turn. Yeah. Nice. Classy. Turns out M9 doesn't have a range. Just ask, where's your lock? Where's your lock? Okay. This beam here trying to cut in in front of Luke. What? No, this is in front of Elo. That's Elo. Yeah. I think it does land. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, well Sabine. played, Samin. Calm down. I'm trying to play first fiddle. I'm trying to get her own TV show. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sabine. How are you enjoying the music of Ahsoka so far? I'm so enthralled by the visuals. I barely yeah. hear it. I barely hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't like listen like that. I should though. I, like I hear like the booms and like the sounds of the spaceships and stuff. Like oh, that sounds awesome. I hear I hear the booms. But I, I just don't. I'm not. I can't hear the score. I should listen though. That's that's a good recommendation. How's it going? It's going. Any chance you guys could take table five next turn? Why? It would just make life easier. I okay. Is, sure. Is there? If, is, if it's a good matchup. Is there sunlight on it? No, it's uh. We want to leave the door open, but wind keeps messing with the table. Oh. Okay. So. Sure. Sounds great. If it's a terrible matchup, I'll take it. But. Okay. No. Uh. Sure. Uh, Luke, this may be a friend. Well, hold on. This may be a friendly bump. All right, well, they're, they're saying it's not. Nah. Uh, the template barely hit the corner of a diagonal chip, so probably not. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, sure. I would still measure. Always be measuring. No. Well, that's the life of luxury you lead over here. <laughs> These players <laughs> flying by the seat of the pants. You're just trying. You're just trying to say, don't trust your eyes, yeah. for they will deceive you. Mm. I'm saying that in a really turn mm. re weird, <laughs> weird way. Yeah. Uh, is this? Guy, he's gonna try for the talent here? No way. Yeah. Uh, that lands. That, look, that, that looks is, good. That look is trying to get shook. I don't know where they marked off that other ship though. On the back of it. On the back. Yeah. That looks good to me, though. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, done. Uh, Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, this may just be like a a focus here because he has a lined up bullseye from Caracoon. Swain his options. Nope. Decides the focus is the correct call. On two. Yeah, just, uh, two, two turn to the right. Chasing down that poor Nimi. Leave. What did Nimi do wrong? Survive. Was, to survive. <laughs> That's what she did wrong. Those are crimes against the rebels. <laughs> Surviving. <laughs> All right, that looks like the boost is gonna get arc and range. Oof, gonna be right in front of a debris cloud. Yeah, hey. how do you weigh that option? Yeah, I mean, you need to destroy something. Four points, you yeah, need them. Yeah. Do you focus boost? No, I gotta fo boost then focus. Yeah, you With get a the wounded. wounded. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> do you just like measure for a lock then and try oh, next round? Yeah, I mean, you could try for measure for lock. If that debris is less than one range, can we move that debris <laughs> between those ships? <laughs> it might be just out. Just focus. Wow. He, he believes. It looks like it may be in. Yeah. 
Well, they didn't roll for that wounded, unless our dice cam's off, but I don't think it is, because I can see a little line. Oh, well, he didn't do any fancy link action, so we could just remind him after combat. Oh, did he just not have range? I don't think he had range. I don't think he had arc. Something. They're not shooting him. Our dice camera is on, so they're not rolling dice yet. Okay, here comes Luke with a. Uh, he's gonna say reroll that. And two. Oh. And nine. <laughs> what team are you on? Uh. Okay. okay, yeah, I think Kara's got to spend that uh, to take uh, just one uh, shield crit. Shield crit, yep. Lost three to a Fenral shot. Shield crit, yep, yeah. confirmed. Let's see that crit. Okay. No half points in this scenario. So Kevin's got to look for destruction here to make up those points. Your range two from Ello on to Luke and does have one bullet, doesn't need any modification Ooh. there. Three hits out of hand, two evades. One more down. That's into Luke's, all Luke's shields gone. Well, we are in stoppage time. 73 minutes so far in the round. Only f uh, five minutes potential here. So when, when does combat end versus the time? That's time of the round, so this will be the final round of combat. Yeah, so you can take, Kevin can take all the damage, but he, he's got to destroy something. I don't know, uh, so it's, a ring, it's up to Sabine. Hero here. There's a potential four point gain, and that's not going to be enough. No crits, no nothing. And one evade out of hand, which is going to be Kenneth Lyon taking the win here in round four of the Golden Gate. What? Golden State Games. We'll fix it in post. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho. Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and J List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.